Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is Tuesday, December the 28th, the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow is now up 153 at 36,455. Got really close to within 80 points of an all time high. Uh, it hit 36,527 today. Oh, we got even closer. An all time high is 36,565, 40 points. Wow. And pulling back legs. See, I'm anticipating we do make a peak C in the next couple of days, and then we go to a leg D, and then I think you've got to be a little careful again. Meantime, so far, everything looks pretty good. When you're looking at the S&P, all-time high is already at an all-time high for the second day. Little doji candle here, 47.97, up 6.14. Uh, yep, all-time high. Look at the QQQ. It was doing quite nicely. Um, and then it pulled back, then it was doing nicely, then it pulled back. Now it's down only 32 cents at 403.22. Some of those big tech stocks that just got hammered over the last couple of months, trying to come off the bottoms. It's, it's real tough and it's reflected here. Look at the IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps. Now pulling back a little bit, up four cents at 224.14. We won't know whether the small caps will start to lead us into January and lead the way, as they sometimes do every couple of years, um, unless it starts to trade in the 232, 233 area very soon. And we're looking at gold. We tried to rally earlier on. It's given back some of that. It's only up two and a half at 1611. It, it's acting okay. It's Bitcoin that really uh, had a beautiful session uh, both uh, yesterday and on Thursday. And all of a sudden gave back a chunk. It's down uh, 2355. 23,000, uh, 23,555 at 48,920. And it's crude oil that is holding very nicely considering what's going on. It's up 36 cents at 75.94 within that rectangle formation. Uh, it's trying to fulfill that. If it can get to 79 uh, in the next two weeks, that's going to tell the market that, that yeah, the oil situation uh, is starting to increase again. And we're looking at the TLT bonds. Uh, bonds try to rally. Uh, it's holding up 42 cents, which means that yields are coming down a little bit until the bonds can get back into the 150, 152, 152 area. Uh, those yields are just stuck in a narrow range. So I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pizzavento. Of course, should be a great show as always. And don't forget, we start off at nine with a fabulous show with Tommy Jr., Tommy, uh, Tommy O'Brien. Uh, this is the kickoff show, and he does puts together the fundies with the technicals. Great show. Tune in at 9 o'clock, and we go all the way through to 4 o'clock with Tom Sr. wraps it all up. Have a great day, great programming here. Stay tuned to TFNN.